In the glitzy pantheon of the world's richest individuals, where charismatic yet controversial characters like Elon Musk play the rock stars, Bernard Arno moves with the elegance of aristocrats, and Jeff Bezos orchestrates Amazon's global takeover like a tech titan symphony. An unexpected hero is quietly queuing up for the number one spot on the list for the wealthiest person on the planet. Meet Jensen Huang, NVIDIA's maestro visionary poised to become the kingmaker of the coming AI revolution, all the while smiling to the bank as he changes the world and his wallet, one chip at a time. In today's episode, we chronicle how Jensen Huang's journey from the shores of Taiwan to the absolute pinnacle of global influence and wealth illustrates a tech maestro from a modest background poised to redefine the elite circle of billionaires as we introduce you to the future richest man in the world, Jensen Huang. In the tech world's version of a Cinderella story, Jensen Huang, NVIDIA's maestro, is on a turbocharged ride that will likely park him at the top of the world's richest list by 2030. With a net worth already clocking in at 64.2 billion, thanks to NVIDIA's eye-watering $1.8 trillion valuation, Huang is seizing the throne of the AI and graphics chip revolution, and his strategic mastery and technological foresight haven't gone unnoticed. In 2021, he earned a spot in the Time 100, Time magazine's yearly roundup of the globe's most impactful personalities, and he's surely enjoying the fruits of his digitally infused labor. Living the high life in a sleek 11,000 square foot palace in San Francisco's ritzy billionaire's row, Huang's chip chateau isn't just any swanky crib, it's a fortress of modernity, with seven bedrooms, ten bathrooms. As is likely necessary when you're the gregarious giant in the graphics space, it's also got a movie theatre for the family's viewing pleasure, and a wine cellar that could make Dionysus weep. Plus, it throws in postcard-perfect snapshots of the Golden Gate Bridge and Alcatraz Island for free. And inside, it's all about refined elegance with decor and design that scream 21st century mega mogul. Now for the human touch in this tech titan's tale. Laurie, the woman who's had his back since their lab partner days at Oregon State University, shares his life with their two children, Spencer and Madison. Spencer dabbled in nightlife with a Taipei bar that snagged a spot on Forbes's top 50 in Asia. Madison is charting her own course in the family empire as the product marketing manager for NVIDIA's Omniverse, a venture that sounds like it's straight out of sci-fi. But Laurie's not just the queen of Huang's heart. She's the style guru behind his now iconic black leather jacket, a look completed with input from their daughter. But it's not all GPUs and leather jackets. The Huang family badge is also pinned to philanthropy. Their foundation pours love and resources into public health, STEM and higher education, with a spotlight on the California Bay Area. And their benevolence doesn't stop at cash injections. The Oregon State University's horizon is brightened by the Jensen and Lori Huang Collaborative Innovation Complex, a $200 million venture set to revolutionize collaborative research and education. And the secret source to Huang's lavish lifestyle and generous spirit is, of course, a hefty stake in NVIDIA. And against the backdrop of an AI chips market poised to explode, NVIDIA's data center GPUs, with their $40,000 price tags, spell out financial dominance in neon letters. And this tech juggernaut's Q3 net income rocket up by 1,200% to $9.2 billion is less a financial statement and more a mic drop, proving that in the high-stakes casino of the tech industry, Huang is holding a royal flush. Yet, surely you clicked on this video because you want the play-by-play -play on exactly how Jensen Huang will, in short order, become the world's richest man, when we already have household names like Musk, Arno and Bezos playing musical chairs with the top spot. Let's break down step-by-step -step how Huang is likely to snatch victory from the jaws of tech in the next chapter. Now, in order to get you in the mood, we want you to imagine a world where the richest person isn't someone who sells clothes, cars, or even rockets to space, but someone who makes the brains that go inside computers and video games. Spoiler alert, that person is Jensen Huang, and by 2030, he's going to be at the top of the wealth chart for several key reasons. 
First, let's look at his company's financial performance over the last 10 years. Exploring NVIDIA's financial rise under Jensen Huang's guidance reveals a journey from a solid revenue of $4.13 billion in 2014, just 10 years ago, to an astonishing $26.9 billion by 2023. Naturally, this leap highlights NVIDIA's strong position in AI and gaming, sectors experiencing exponential growth in demand, with no signs of slowing down. As a result, Huang's wealth has skyrocketed to over $60 billion in just a few years, illustrating the significant impact of NVIDIA's market leadership. In comparison, billionaires like Bernard Arnault and Elon Musk, despite their substantial wealth, are involved in industries that are generally growing more slowly and might feel the squeeze in the coming AI revolution. For example, while Arnold's leadership in luxury goods with LVMH and Musk's innovations in electric vehicles and space travel are pioneering, they lack the explosive short-term growth potential that AI and chips, NVIDIA's current specializations, offers. Indeed, as digital transformation, particularly that which requires chips and artificial intelligence in order to grow, becomes more integral to all life aspects, from self-driving cars to advanced medical diagnostics, the demand for NVIDIA's technology is expected to soar even higher. Moreover, Huang's focus on cutting-edge technologies like quantum computing and deep learning could revolutionize computing power and efficiency. NVIDIA's leading role in these fields suggests its financial growth and Huang's wealth will continue to surge, outpacing traditional industries. For instance, since 2014, the success stories of Bernard Arnold at LVMH and Jensen Huang at NVIDIA have been incredible, each leading their fields. As of one decade ago, Bernard Arnault had a net worth of approximately $35 billion, dominating the luxury goods market. Under his leadership, LVMH made 30 billion euros in 2014, even though some areas like wines and spirits face difficulties. By 2023, LVMH's earnings jumped to a huge 86 billion euros, a little less than a 3x growth rate, showing the brand's wide influence and control in the market. Arno's wealth also shot up, hitting around $190 billion by early 2024, showing his smart strategies and luxury brand's lasting popularity. However, in comparison, Jensen Huang's NVIDIA started 2014 with $4.13 billion in revenue and soared to $26.9 billion by 2023, a 6x, and nearly double that of LVMH. This huge rise highlights the company's top position in AI and gaming, sectors with absolutely parabolic potential in the coming years, especially compared to luxury items which require overhead and supply chain management to expand growth. Thus, looking at LVMH and NVIDIA's growth side by side, the differences are clear. While LVMH's progress is impressive, NVIDIA's growth is in another league, driven by the tech field's ability to innovate quickly and on a large scale. Furthermore, the comparison between Huang's steady rise with NVIDIA and Musk's unpredictable financial strategies with Tesla and his other projects sets an interesting stage for future projections. The tech industry, fueled by continuous innovation and a growing need for computing power, especially in AI, provides a promising environment for NVIDIA's ongoing expansion. While Musk's projects, despite being innovative, come with a degree of volatility and unpredictability in terms of technology adoption, market response, and financial stability. His unconventional financial moves, such as his sometimes admirable, sometimes controversial decisions at Twitter, now called X, add an element of risk that might affect his wealth growth over time and indicate a man who may not be wholly obsessed with holding the number one spot forever. Indeed, even in the realm of AI, Musk seems less concerned with the profit motive and more concerned with the inherent risk it poses to humanity. Considering these factors, it becomes increasingly plausible that Jensen Huang's wealth might outstrip Elon Musk's by 2030. NVIDIA's path under Huang's guidance is well aligned with the technological advancements expected to prevail in the next decade. In contrast, Musk's diverse portfolio, while absolutely astounding and likely to grow even more, encounters challenges that could slow down his wealth accumulation pace. 
And of course, there's Jeff Bezos with a fortune of $161 billion as of October 2023, steering Amazon to revenues nearing $470 billion in 2021. Despite Amazon's continued expansion, its growth pace has moderated, and Bezos's departure as CEO and his broad investment strategy may lead to a more consistent, though less meteoric, increase in wealth, contrasting sharply with the explosive growth potential within the AI and tech sectors. Jensen, Huang's and NVIDIA, however, stands at the cusp of the AI revolution, poised for exceptional growth. NVIDIA's robust financial health, evidenced by a 74% gross profit margin and a 206% spike in revenue over a single quarter, underscores its pivotal role in the generative AI market, and this sector is predicted to balloon to trillions, in plural, by 2032. Should NVIDIA sustain its momentum, it might become the first $5 trillion company by 2030, aspiring to $190 billion in annual revenue, a target seemingly within reach, given NVIDIA's historical growth rate of 30%. However, you're probably wishing we address the elephant in the room when it comes to the AI revolution and the future of tech. What about Apple, currently in the news for its recent viral headsets, and the seeming industry leader as far as name recognition, OpenAI. In the next chapter, we'll explain while the actual heads of these organizations are unlikely to surpass Jensen Huang in actual wealth by 2030. Now, the conversation about Jensen Huang surpassing the wealth of tech luminaries like Tim Cook of Apple or Sam Altman of OpenAI, despite potential differences in their company's market values, centers on the equity each holds in their firms. Huang's substantial NVIDIA stake significantly impacts his wealth accumulation, and as of September 2023, Huang directly holds 8 million NVIDIA shares, with an additional 78.7 million shares in trusts and family partnerships, totaling 86.7 million shares, or about 3.5% of NVIDIA's outstanding shares making him the largest individual shareholder. In contrast, Tim Cook's ownership of approximately 3.3 million Apple shares, post a major stock sale, is valued at around $565 million. Thus, despite Apple's larger market capitalization when compared to Nvidia, Cook's relatively minor equity stake, about 0.02% of outstanding shares, means that even significant increases in Apple's market value have a less pronounced effect on Cook's personal wealth compared to Huang's potential gains with NVIDIA. And Sam Altman's situation with OpenAI presents a unique scenario. Altman has opted out of equity ownership in OpenAI, valued at $27 billion, reflecting his personal financial ethos and OpenAI's organizational aim to prioritize AI development over profit. Consequently, Altman's financial standing isn't directly linked to OpenAI's market valuation in the manner Huang's is with NVIDIA. Therefore, the essence of why Huang might outpace Cook or Altman in wealth, even if NVIDIA's market cap trails behind Apple's or OpenAI's, is tied to the equity share each holds in their respective companies. Huang's significant NVIDIA stake means his wealth is closely tied to the company's market success. And, as NVIDIA's value climbs, especially with the AI surge, Huang's fortune is set to significantly grow, showcasing the direct benefit of his substantial equity stake. This leverage effect, so crucial to Huang's wealth trajectory, is less applicable to Cook due to his smaller Apple share and non-existent for Altman at OpenAI. And yet, we still haven't explained how the champion of chips in the 21st century got his start in a career that is likely to make him the world's richest in due time. Indeed, in the intricate world of technology and innovation, few stories are as compelling as that of Jensen Huang. And they all begin on the other side of the world from Silicon Valley during the 1960s. Born on the 17th February 1963 in Tainan, Taiwan, Huang's journey is a riveting chronicle of ambition, perseverance, and triumph over adversity. And the surname Huang, as aficionados of both genealogy and the Forbes list well know, is not just common. It's a byword for influence and achievement in Chinese and Taiwanese society. 
Indeed, the Huang surname helms a legacy worn by dynastic scholars, revolutionary heroes, and, more recently, boardroom titans and tech moguls. Consider, for example, the likes of Huang Xing, a key figure in the Xinhai Revolution that overthrew the Qing dynasty, or Huang Renyu, a historian whose writings have shaped modern Chinese intellectual thought. And then there's our protagonist, Jensen Huang, who, with a name as mighty as his, was perhaps always destined to stand at the vanguard of the tech revolution. Now, the early 1960s in Tainan was a time of economic ferment and social transformation. Picture a city teetering on the edge of the industrial boom that would catapult Taiwan onto the global stage. And Tainan was a symphony of traditional markets filled with the scent of incense and the buzz of scooters zipping past ancient temples, a place where the past and the imminent future collided. Thus, Taiwan's socio-economic landscape during Huang's formative years was marked by a seismic shift from agrarian roots to industrial and technological prowess. Yet, for many, including the Huang family, the promise of the island was eclipsed by the lure of opportunities abroad, leading them to seek a future in the United States. Huang's odyssey commenced with his family's relocation from Taiwan to Thailand when he was merely a child of five, a move propelled by his father's vision of a brighter future for his offspring in the United States. This vision led them to Tacoma, Washington, where Huang and his brother found themselves ensconced with an uncle at the tender age of nine, a strategic decision made against the backdrop of Southeast Asia's turmoil during the Vietnam War era. And the linguistic barrier was formidable. His mother, undeterred and not fluent in English, ingeniously tasked her sons with learning 10 new English words daily, a rudimentary yet effective method of surmounting this obstacle. Furthermore, it was in this vibrant setting that young Jen Hasun's decision to westernize his name to Jensen was more than a nod to globalization. It was a savvy branding move that would one day help him navigate the corridors of Silicon Valley with ease. Now, the nucleus of Huang's family was steeped in the virtues of education and professional excellence. His father's expertise in chemical engineering and his mother's dedication as a schoolteacher underscored the family's ethos. Despite early challenges, including a stint at a reform school due to a misunderstanding and facing bullying, Huang's fiery temperament and unyielding resolve saw him through. Oregon soon became the family's haven, where Huang attended Aloha High School, distinguishing himself academically and skipping grades to graduate at 16. Thus, his childhood, a complex blend of hardships and academic feats, forged a character of unparalleled tenacity and work ethic. And beyond the academic realm, Huang demonstrated a competitive streak and a penchant for strategy, as evidenced by his status as a nationally ranked table tennis player and an active participant in math, computer and science clubs. These early indicators of his competitive nature and intellectual curiosity prefigured his approach to business and the relentless drive for innovation that would hallmark his career at NVIDIA. However, as we'll see in the next chapter, this burgeoning tech titan wasn't even the only member of his family to have a future vying for the top position in AI, let alone the broader world of wealth. In the high-tech echelons of Silicon Valley, a fascinating familial connection underpins the fierce rivalry between two titans of the tech industry, AMD and NVIDIA. Dr. Lisa Su, the dynamic CEO of AMD, and Jensen Huang, the visionary leader of NVIDIA, share more than just a passion for innovation and a penchant for leading edge technology. They are family. With Huang being Su's second uncle, their relationship adds a personal twist to the competitive saga unfolding in the artificial intelligence chips sector. And the competition between AMD and NVIDIA is not just a business rivalry, it's a vivid illustration of how companies vie for supremacy in emerging tech domains. Already, NVIDIA has carved out a significant lead in the generative AI boom, boasting record revenues bolstered by AI chip sales. Meanwhile, AMD, though trailing in the revenue race, is diligently working to fortify its stance in the AI domain. Furthermore, the stock market has keenly tuned into this tech duel, 
with Nvidia's shares skyrocketing by 220% in 2023 and AMD up by 70%, highlighting investor optimism in its AI strategies and its potential to disrupt the market. And underneath the corporate veneer, the personal dimensions of this rivalry are equally compelling. Lisa Su's journey, also from Tainan, Taiwan, to the pinnacle of AMD, epitomizes the fusion of intellect, strategic acumen, and unwavering leadership. Her formative years in the United States, shaped by her parents' emphasis on mathematics and science, set the stage for a storied career in semiconductor technology. And Sue's academic odyssey at MIT, where she honed her fascination with semiconductors, culminated in a PhD in 1994, paving her path to the apex of AMD. Now, while the professional rivalry between Sue and Huang commands headlines, their family ties weave a subtle backdrop to their corporate engagements. Both leaders navigate the competitive landscape of GPUs and AI chips, each steering their respective companies with an eye on innovation and market leadership. And their familial relationship, though acknowledged by both parties, seems to play a secondary role to their professional endeavors, and Sue's characterization of their connection as distant relatives during a 2020 webinar speaks to the primacy of their business interactions over personal ties. Thus, as AMD and Nvidia continue their race for AI supremacy, the industry watches, captivated by the strategic moves of these two formidable leaders, whose shared family history adds a unique dimension to their professional contest. However, it seems that only one family member is poised to become the world's richest individual in the next few years. Jensen Huang. In the next chapter, we'll highlight step by step how he's likely to accomplish this monumental feat. For Jensen Huang to claim the title of the world's richest person, Nvidia must maintain its upward trajectory in market capitalization, and Huang would need to either preserve or expand his shareholding in the company. And considering the current wealthiest individuals hover around net worths between $100 billion and $200 billion, a significant surge in NVIDIA's valuation or an increase in Huang's ownership percentage would be required. Therefore, to estimate Jensen Huang's net worth by 2030, we must examine NVIDIA's market cap growth and Huang's wealth progression since 2014. NVIDIA has evolved from a company focused on graphics processors to a front-runner in artificial intelligence, catapulting its market valuation to unprecedented levels. For example, in the first quarter of 2014, NVIDIA's market cap stood at approximately $12.68 billion, soaring to $887 billion by the first quarter of 2024. This marks an astonishing 6,900% increase over a decade. Consequently, assuming NVIDIA continues on this growth path, its market cap could reach above a whopping 60 trillion by 2030, maintaining the same rate of growth. Yet, such unbelievable forecasts are highly speculative, influenced by myriad factors such as market dynamics, NVIDIA's performance, and Huang's company shares. Additionally, as NVIDIA grows, Sustaining such an aggressive growth rate becomes increasingly challenging. Therefore, we can still analyze Huang's journey to the world's richest man without needing to lean on other worldly figures. For instance, should Nvidia's market cap simply double from $1.77 trillion to $3.54 trillion, with Huang's stake constant at 3.5%, his net worth would similarly see a potential doubling, surpassing $120 billion. However, to outpace the present wealthiest individuals, both Nvidia's valuation and Huang's ownership must experience further growth. So let's up the numbers a bit and discuss the possibility of Nvidia achieving a $5 trillion valuation by 2030, more than double their current valuation, but less than triple. This possibility is anchored not in mere speculation, but in the firm's steady revenue increase and AI's monumental economic potential, which some experts say could inject between $7 trillion and a whopping $200 trillion into the global economy by 2030. Thus, NVIDIA's journey to a $5 trillion market value necessitates a compound annual growth rate of 21.6% to reach $190 billion in annual revenue by 2030. 
a feat that appears achievable given the company's past decade's growth rate of 30%. Therefore, should NVIDIA's market value escalate to $5 trillion, Huang's stake would proportionally rise, provided his share percentage remains stable without significant shifts in the company's outstanding shares. Currently, with NVIDIA's valuation at $1.77 trillion, reaching a $5 trillion market cap would mean about a 2.82-fold increase from its present worth. By this calculation, Huang's net worth could see a potential surge to roughly 181 billion, multiplying his current fortune by the same factor. Moreover, if Nvidia were to attain a $7 trillion market cap, this would signify approximately a four-found increase over its current valuation, and under this scenario, Huang's wealth could potentially escalate to about 253 billion. Again, assuming his shareholding percentage in NVIDIA stays consistent and there are no notable changes in the total shares issued. However, again, these projections are inherently speculative, hinging on a multitude of variables such as NVIDIA's onward financial achievements, market dynamics, and Huang's own investment choices. Similarly, it's crucial to acknowledge that this video is in no way investment advice. Do your own research on these matters. And stock market valuations and capitalizations are subject to fluctuations based on investor perceptions and market volatility. With that said, it is clear that the story of Jensen Huang's rise to prominence is an impressive one, and a saga we'll all be watching with bated breath throughout the decade or decades. And now, we'd like to see you in the comments. Which tech multi-billionaire would you like us to feature next on this channel? We've already done deep dives on Elon Musk and his family, Larry Ellison, Jeff Bezos, and now Jensen Huang. We love hearing your thoughts and try our best to make the videos you want to see. We look forward to reading your comments. And thanks again for joining us for another episode. Cheers, until next time.